Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, beautiful world. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhD AM. Here, our from our uh, our Hawk Awareness uh, uh, located in Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, and this is one of the conferences in Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center. So, our vision to achieve uh, two strategies. So, this particular presentation is about success. Success is that we always hear, whether by from the news, whatever it is, that a person who is successful is based on how much money does he possess or how much leadership he has achieved, whether in politics, whether he's a mayor, senator, Vice President, President, CEO, that's good. Or in any field, the career, like a CEO or a president of a firm, whatever job, whatever passion he's achieved, whatever the level of the success, that's fine. But let me tell you one thing. We do not and we should never just only focus on thinking that a person who has been successful, the success to be value based on how much power he has or how much money does he possess. Let me tell you one thing. When I was reading the book of Albert Einstein, at the end, the last page of his book, he, the picture showing he is in the bed, lying in bed, the last minutes of his death. He's already in a critical ill and he's going to pass away already. And then, what did he say? He said, I was running to achieve great success in science. I managed to have five Nobel Prizes. But as the fact, I have failed in my social life for the reason I wanted to see my daughter. I have left my daughter in more than could be like some kind of 40 years. I have never seen my daughter since the moment I was separated, divorced with her mother, with my first wife. She was two years old, and I've never seen her after that. So what happened when he left Germany and he came to the United States of America with his second wife? He never had any contact with his daughter for 40 years, something like that, and he died. So that touched, touched me a lot. That every day we think, we wake up, we do everything, we work hard, we persevere, we determine, we never quit, we say, I will do it, I will do it. We keep our mind to think about climbing the endless mountains of life, looking at the peak of the mountain and say, I want to be there when I'm there, say I'm the greatest person on earth. And again, I want to be there. I want to go to the next peak of the mountain. So I keep on climbing and climbing the endless mountains of life. But one thing, I came to realize that based on my, what I've realized, I came up to say, oh, okay, wait, 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 let's take a deep breath. Have we really achieved a success? How much money we have made, that really means a success? How much power we have attained? Can we call ourselves or proclaim ourselves we are successful? No, 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 no. Excuse me, I'm sorry to say that, that's my, you may not agree with me, I respect your opinion, but you cannot change my opinion. You cannot. I will respect your opinion, but I will not jump to accept, to just to, to be like, if you don't agree with me. I will remain in my own instinct, belief, that if I want to evaluate myself a successful person, it's not about the money I've made, it's not about the power I've made, or the whatever, no, or the knowledge I've achieved, no. I need to have to focus every day on my life, including you. The five factors of true sustainable success.
and they come from there. Most privilege, the highest priority to the least priority. So let's go one by one. The top priority, as you could see, the inverted pyramid. Because I start with the highest to the lowest. There are five. Number one, the power of faith. When I say the power of faith, is how have you make use of the money you have? And how you, did you make use of the power you have? Whether you are a president, you are a mayor, you are a CEO, you are a president, you are a scientist, you are a teacher, you are a professor, whatever who you are. How have you used that leadership that you have achieved, irrespective of that leadership, in money or in power, to make use in the power of faith means to congregate, to share with others and looking at yourself that the endless mountains of life that you, you keep on climbing as you go one step or the top of the mountain you take a deep breath just remember go down extend your hand and there are many people below there who need you just take their hands and pull them help them to climb that mountain because you have the secret keys to achieve there. Do not be selfish. Just share the knowledge you have. Share the money you have with the benevolent, like uh, uh, supporting non-profit organizations, you know, and so on. Support the poor, support the needy, support. Uh, so you have money, that's good. Or you have power. Make use of that power to also help the society. So you look at yourself as you go, keep on going up, Still, there are people who are calling for pleas, extend their hand. They say, hey, X, please, I need your hand. You know the secret to reach there. You can go down the mountain, below the mountain, and keep and take them and say, come on, I'm pulling you one by one. So the power of faith is so important, irrespective of your affiliation. Number two, carefully look here, health not just only absence of disease, not just only physical health, the entire holistic health, the four aspects of health, which I coined them, the PEMS aspect of health, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Because what is the use of what you're fighting to achieve, but you destroy your own health? The physical health, or the emotional health, like stress and all these things, anxiety, the mental health, and the spiritual health. So the moment you take care of your health, entire health, you achieve that, that's one factor of the success. That is the second factor of success, the true and sustainable success. Followed by that is Happiness. <laughs> Remember, you cannot buy happiness with the money. You cannot buy happiness with the, how much power do you have? Are you a president? Are you a, a, are you a mayor? Are you a senator? And then you, call, you say, I'm, the, I'm the, so happy. No. Happiness you don't buy by power. And happiness you don't buy by money, how much money you have. Happiness comes with self-satisfaction. Happiness comes when you already achieve the two preceded Factors of success, which I mentioned. That's from there, you sleep in a peace of mind, you wake up in a peace of mind, and you feel, I am, I am the greatest person of myself. I am the happiest person of myself. Of myself. It means you do not compete any person. That means you are satisfied. You are contented. You, the gratitude. Every day, the word, thank you. Take a deep breath. Thank you, I'm happy. Thank you, I'm satisfied. Thank you, I achieved. Irrespective of incident, irrespective of challenge, irrespective of the ups and downs of life. You go up, you go down, you go up and just be satisfied. And as you keep on moving and climbing the endless mountains of life, then follow by skill and knowledge. That's number four. When I say skill and knowledge, I don't say education. I'm not against education, but I say, Education is not the only tool to be having the true success. Education is an insurance of you 
is a pillar that allow you, give you, facilitate you to achieve things faster and much better and more organized. Education is important. But remember, there were people who never get the chance of get, getting education. And they became the prominent people, they became the leaders, they became the successful. They made amazing contribution to the civilization. Many notable people, many of them, they never gone to school. They never, or they failed in school, or they failed in the colleges. I don't say I'm against the colleges, no, no. Again, I, as I said, a college is a pillar that gives you the easy facility to achieve things much better, more organized, and much in a faster way. But that means skill and knowledge is so important that with your skill, that's a true success. The more skill you maintain to achieve, the more success you proclaim to yourself. Then the, the last one, which is the least, <laughs> money. Opulence, that's nothing wrong to have money. But remember that, take it in that very proportion. When I give it, for example, one to five, so one will be the top, number one, power of faith, number two, number three, number four. So opulence, which is a lot of money, whatever money, you have that money. If you have the money that comes on the fifth, which is, say, for example, they give it a five, then, so the number one became, for example, in a proportion, say one, two, three, four, five. So by number, by volume, the first one gets, for example, five portion. The least get one portion. So when you go to two portion, for example, that the second one goes to the same proportion, it becomes 10. Because what happened is that the, the least, it was one, became two. The, the preceding one, it was, it was, uh, uh, two became four, the preceding one was three, became six, the preceding one was four, became eight, the first one, which, which was the fifth, the five by volume, for example, became ten. So that means it in the same proportion, inverted pyramid, that they grow simultaneously. So the more money you have, just remember, the more money you have, and this message even to the people who are so rich, so they have a lot of money. The more you have, focus to give the right on the preceding one. There you are truly a successful person. And you can proclaim the true success and sustainable success. So thank you so much, a beautiful world. The last thing I recommend you is, please do not underestimate this something simple. It changes your life. This is, it carries a lot of mysterious secret keys to your true success. Sustainable success, sustainable leadership, sustainable wealth. And when I say wealth, which is also coincided with the success, that not every rich is wealthy, but every wealthy is rich. Again, so to be wealthy, is it congruence with the exactly being successful person. You can do it, you can achieve it. It's possible, it's not difficult, believe me. And I wish you wonderful life, wonderful health. Just remember to hackweight your body because give your body the fuel it deserves for your brain to function in a much better way, for your body to perform to, in a much better way, to understand the beauty of life, to understand the power of you, to understand the unique of you, to understand that you, are preparing to not only just to become successful, but the day you achieve all these five factors of success, the day you start to think, you, I want to leave my name engraved in the stone of history, that history will remain witnessing to the upcoming generations, present and coming and the following and following generations, that your name will always be there. That's one day, somewhere, somehow, you left a legacy. And when you left this world, your spirit look at that. You're satisfied, you say, yes, I did great. Truly achieved success. So, I got my portion of success. I'm a happy man, I'm a happy family. I have my beautiful wife, I have my handsome children. And I'm satisfied with my life to whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm trying to do, but I'm always satisfied 
And I'm always trying to maintain, to make sure that I maintain the five factors of true success. Please, it's your turn. Have a wonderful day, beautiful world. Please, like, subscribe, share. We want to hear more from you also. We want to have more contribution with others. That to create this channel as we grow is through your contribution and support. Thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful day. Take care.